That just that just came in. Yeah, yeah, we good, we live. Come to the left, uh, brother. Come this way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's good. All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right. First and foremost, we're going to turn toward the east. Yep. Give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, by Shem, by All right. We're going to give double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS. Salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching his truth. Mm -hmm. All right, we're the GMS Memphis camp. We got the brother Isaiah from uh, North Carolina down. And uh, we're just going to flow in the spirit, man. You yep. know, um, things that were uh, kind of on my mind today, you know, spiritually thinking of uh, uh, what is your purpose, man? What What, what is our purpose? Because a lot of people, you know, that are living, you know, day to day, they don't, they don't understand their purpose. They don't understand we have a job to do, man, as Israelite men. All right, and, and the woman also has her job and has her purpose, man. Okay, that's that's order. That's the divine way the Lord set things up, man. So a brother can uh, grab Ecclesiastes, you know, twelve, I believe. <laughs> yeah, we have a we have a purpose, man. As Israelites, as as, as uh, uh, children of the Lord, you know, you you have a purpose, which is a big reason why you need to know who you are, man. And not call yourself black, call yourself African, all of these things, man, you know? And, and, and you're thinking of uh, yourself in that manner, you know, you're going to act accordingly, you know? Like, 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 uh, but let's get the scripture. Let's get the scripture. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let's hear <coughs> the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments, yeah. for this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. Brother, look that word up, duty. It's like, uh, uh, pretty much like your job, isn't it? We'll, we'll get it. But hey, that's this is this is what it is. Uh, uh, yeah, read that, brother. Uh, this is just a uh, duty, just in the, um, the New Oxford American Dictionary, a moral obligation. Okay. Uh, a responsibility. See? A responsibility. This is this is our responsibility as Israelites, man. To what? Fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Our people, what, what, what we're doing now, people are going after their own thoughts and own imaginations and just doing as thou wilt. That's the spirit of Esau, man. Do whatever the hell you feel is right. <laughs> you, uh, you said uh, Jake and I know uh, who they are. Right. And as an Israelite, as a son of God, what does it mean to be an Israelite? What does it mean to be a son of, of the power? Right. Right? What responsibility do you have to, uh, 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 what responsibility does that hold? Mm -hmm. well, uh, I did do the right before. But, uh, it says uh, just a little bit of mo duty, a task or action that someone is required to perform. Yep. Someone is required to perform. Okay, so hey, as Israelites, man, we have a we have a task, a, a particular task, man, that we're we're required to perform, which is fearing the Lord and keeping His ways, man. So other people, other uh, uh, nations and people can look upon us and like, okay, this this is what the Lord expects us to do. You know, these are the the the, the, the people of the Lord, man. You know, not not. Uh, uh, being in that spirit of, you know, whatever the hell I feel, that's what I'm going to do, man. Fulfilling the lust. You got it, brother. This Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. Right. You got you to gotta follow the way. Hey, uh, bro, can you get that? The old past. Yeah. That Jeremiah 6. 16. You got it. Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Keep their four and do them, for this is the this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, right. which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this this great nation 
is a wise and understanding people. Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. They don't say that about us now, you know? They, they look upon us like we're, we're, we're the low lowlifes. We're the bases of men. Esau, yeah, we're entertainment. Right, entertainment to Jake. That's all they, they want to see is a, a nigga dunk a basketball or, or, or how fast you can run, you know? Entertainment like some or some twerking. Right. <laughs> yeah, Eve is good at that, shaking her ass, you know? <laughs> Come on, man. No, we're, 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 we're a wise and understanding people, man. When you come back and follow the, the laws, man, you follow the Lord's way, okay? You got it, bro. Did you have that, uh... Jeremiah, yeah. Jeremiah does it. This is the Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Right. Stand ye in the ways, and see, <coughs> and ask for the old paths. Right. Where is the good way? Where is the good way? That we've gotten away from the good way. <coughs> Our people have completely forgotten. Uh, you know, that's, that's Hosea. Our people have completely forgotten the law, the, the way they're supposed to be, the way they're supposed to conduct themselves, the way they're supposed to act. Okay? That's why you got to come back. That's why you have to repent. Okay? Because if you're, and, and another thing, you know, uh, if you're in the, the, the mindset of this world, what this world tells you, man, you you through, you know? The the, the, the the ways of this world, man, is gonna lead your ass straight to death, man. Right. You got it, brother. It says, and as for the old paths, where's the good way? And walk therein. And walk therein, following that way. You got it. And you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Right. You find rest for your souls because it's peace in this, man. Right. Brothers know that purpose when you, 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 you're serving the Lord, man. That's, that's peace, man. You know you're doing the right thing. You know? What is that in Baruch? You say, uh, uh, damn, we brought it out of camp. Baruch 4. Yep. The things that are pleasing. Right. Are because, hey, you, you know when you know that way and you know you're doing the right thing, yeah. It, yeah, it, it, it's it's a peace that comes over you, knowing like, man, I'm you know, I'm doing what it takes. I'm doing what the Lord expects me to do. You know, I'm living my purpose. Yeah, because if I may mean, add that old paths, you know, that good way, you see the reward that our righteous forefathers, you know, received as they walked that path. <laughs> and uh, we uh, uh, are coming back. Lord's willing that a lot of our righteous forefathers right. continuing on that legacy of those that uh, obey the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai, those that fear the Lord and serve Him in sincerity and the truth. Mm -hmm. Right? You got uh, Oh, you had something? Yeah, I had a quick job. I got one. This Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what do if the Lord thy power require thee but to fear the Lord thy power? and to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. It's a lot here, bro. Read it again. <laughs> it's Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee, but to fear the Lord yep. thy power, and to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right, right. And that's 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 our job. That's our duty. That's the task that's given to an Israelite, man. Okay? It, it's, it's very simple, man. It's very easy to, to understand how to do right, man. <laughs> being being wicked is 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 what where you have to, you know, maneuver and do all that other bullshit, man. It's not according to the spirit. You know? If you just follow the Lord's way, man, the old paths, you'll be fine, man. You know? You got more? Yeah. I got that word require in the new Oxford American Dictionary. It goes into need for a particular purpose. Oh, a particular, what did it say? It said need for a particular purpose yeah. of someone in authority instruct or expect someone to do something. It's, See? A, it's an expectation. Yeah, right, right. You know, we have an ex. That, and it's, it's a give and take. You know, that's why the scripture says that the ways of our people are not equal towards the Lord. 
Here it is. You you get in what you put. You get in, you get in return what you put out. Right. You know, uh, in, 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 in any endeavor. Yep. yep. So you go. You reap what you sow. So you go hard in serving Yahweh by Shema Shai. The Lord is going to show a lot. Uh, is going to go hard in protecting you, and making sure He's providing for you. That's right, bro. You know, and what do we need for uh, any? Uh, uh, as per, what do we need the most is protection. That's right. Mercy from Yahweh by Shema Shai. That's what we need provided uh, as we are walking this straight and narrow path. That's right. Yep. Two more points. Now that was it. This is Proverbs 14. So like, yeah, Proverbs 14, verse 12. Mm. Uh, I'm going to read through 15. Done. It says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, right. yep. but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. That was one of my favorite precepts, man. Right. You know, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You can add woman in there. Add all, all people, you know, there's a way that seemeth right unto them. It, 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 it seems right to, to, to believe in uh, Christianity that, yeah. that feel good. Islam. It feel Islam. It yeah. righteous. It seems righteous. It seems like the right way, man. Yeah. You know, but that's not it. <laughs> okay, the scriptures right here. This is the right way. Yeah. Okay. It says, uh, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. Right. And the end of that mirth is heaviness. Come on, huh? Hey, hey, that's like Jake going out. You having a good time. You're, you're in your folly. It's good for a moment. Yeah, for a moment. But hey, at the end of it, you still, Jake still got to go to work tomorrow. You know, you wake up hungover. Still in captivity. <laughs> still in captivity. You st hey, at the end of it, it's, it's, it's sorrow and folly. We're not going to be fully happy until we're in the kingdom, man. Yeah. Right. You got the new bodies. You're, 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 you're in rulership. Yeah. Okay? Because yeah. Jake is all about feeding the flesh, but like knowing who you are, we're more than a uh, flesh and blood. You're a spirit. <coughs> you know, as right. the sons of God, we have a uh, connection with the Most High, whether uh, Jake is fully tapped into it or not. Right. You know, Jake has to feed their spirit. Your spirit must be fed or you're going to be uh, dead while you live. That's no right, matter bro. how much you ignore it and you try to appease the flesh and try to uh, be in that comfort zone, you know, with the jokes and the laughter, the partying and the bullshit, Reality always comes to fruition. Yep. Right. So the mirth, the, the mirth is never going to cover the, the, the pain and suffering that's within your soul. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because at, at, at the end of the day, when that little moment of pleasure is over, yep. it's, back it's, to right, reality. it's right back to hey, reality. You just made me think of uh, basically how these celebrities are, these Israelite celebrities yep. who've given their souls and their lives over to, to Satan, man. All right, you you sold out for for a momentary uh, uh, pleasure, man. Yeah, and, and all of it has to be addressed because really, like with the celebrities, they're able to indulge in more pleasures of the flesh. They they're able to uh, distract they use to distract themselves more. But remember, say the earth the tabernacle weighs down the soul. Yep. So that music upon many, many things. things. Mm -hmm. right. So the more amusement that you give yourself, the actually the more detrimental it is to your soul. Ooh. That's right. Man. Yep. Yourself, bro. Go ahead. And I still got more on here. Go ahead. Hey, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and uh verse 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Yep. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Right. Because right. it say uh it's saying Ecclesiastes. Uh, read that in the NLT. I got you. Right? Read that same verse in the NLT. This Ecclesiastes 7 and 5 in the NLT. Oh, is it 4? I thought you said 4. 7 and 4. 7 and 4. Yeah, 7 and 4 in the NLT. A wise person thinks a lot about death. Right, because at the end of the day, when it all boils down to what's on the mind of every person on the planet Earth is that one day I got to die. Yep. So I need to live the best way I can. I need to get the most out of my life yep. while I'm here. Yep. That's on each and every person's mind on the planet Earth. Yep. The right. thing about it is majority of the people don't know what they need to do <laughs> on this planet today, on this life today, to obtain eternal life in the next. Right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> so, a lot of people's mind says, shit, man, I'm just going to 
Yeah. You know, I'm YOLO. Yeah. You only live once. That, that's the mindset. Yeah. The YOLO. Yeah. I'm just, I'm doing me. You gotta live. Yeah, I'm doing me, and that's the way that seemeth right unto a man. Right. But the ways that, the ways thereof are the ways of death. The end. Mm -hmm. yeah. The end. Yeah. The, yeah. The end thereof is the ways what of death. Because ultimately, your own mindset of how you go about things in life is going to only only resort to a sour death. Yep. You know, you're not going to get a true reward in the end when you live according to your own way. Right. And and, and <laughs> that made me think of, uh, it was a movie. Somebody said that it's good to have a beautiful death. Uh, oh, yeah. That's uh, Superman. Man that's Steel. Super, that was Man of Steel, man. Ooh, yeah. And it's say, and this remind me of uh, <laughs> yep. 300, too. They say that in 300, too. Death. Yep, right. 300. Yeah. yeah. Because hey, hey, when you're doing the right thing, if you, to die in the name of the heavenly Father, man, that's beautiful. Right. That's a righteous thing because you know, hey, hey it's it's going to be a blessing for that, man. And right. that's how the Lord programmed our spirit. Because really, when you think about it, whenever you're fighting for a righteous cause, you're you're willing to <clears throat> exasperate and exhaust all your energy for that cause. Yeah. Somebody that's doing something for wickedness' sake, it's going to be a limit where he's going to. His mind is going to deceive him, and it's, it's going to click in at some point that, damn, I ain't doing the right thing. Right. Because how do we know that? Because even the wicked of Esau Edom is going to come to that point. He talks about it in Second Ezra. Yeah. It's a, uh, a uh, the Lord will have to put the spirit, the spirit back yeah. in them. Because at that moment when they see the Lord crack the cloud with yeah. the host of heaven, yeah. all right, the, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, Sabaoth, the Lord of Sabaoth, the Lord of armies come to the heaven and they see that power. The spirit of the fight is going to go, leave. Yeah, yeah, but a person that's fighting for righteousness, the spirit of them ain't going to never leave yep. because they know what they're fighting for is a righteous cause. But when Esau see the Lord come, you're going to be like, that's why they say, uh, <laughs> I ain't dying for this. <laughs> we won't be like, I fucked up. I shouldn't have yeah. been, you know, that's when he's going to come to that moment that he fucked up. Yeah. But the Lord is going to hit that trigger and do something to make them, you know what I'm saying, bring that spirit back to keep fighting. Yeah, that's why they have a saying, uh, your morale is low. Your morale yeah. is low. Yeah. That, that, those morals you're fighting, you know, the, the morals at the job, the standard is low, the morale is low, the energy is low. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Back in Ecclesiastes 7 and 4 in the NLT, a wise person thinks a lot about death, while a fool thinks only about having a good time. Hey, hey, but if I may add, that's why the scriptures say a gift destroys the heart, man. See, when you getting all these gifts and you pretty much hey, join the hands with the wicked, you leave off from your purpose. Yeah. You know? And then here it is what he throw at you, the woman, black culture, BET, sports, you see? Uh, uh, rap lyrics, you know, cars, Hellcat, Trackhawks, yeah. you know, things like that to throw Jake off the purpose. That you're required to worship and fear you. How about Shema Rashad? Yep. As long as you live on the earth. And the reason why brothers keep harping on those points is those things have a heavy uh, trap, a heavy yeah. hold on Jake's mind. It's yep. all Jake really think about. Yep. And that's what Esau push on Jake. Right. That's that's all he uses. Like brother was just saying, just entertainment, uh, 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 twerking. He, he knows how. He know. He, he studied this, man. This man's the devil. He studied, studied what Jake loves and, and the things to, you know, sidetrack, you know, to keep you off your purpose, man. Not only did he study it, but that's that's in him. Yeah. Remember right. going back to uh, Jacob and Esau and that uh, and that pottage, right? <laughs> Esau, he always been a sensual, fleshly, carnal being. Right. right. And so now that he's in the dominion seat, that same attitude he had, what? What what good shall this birthright do yeah. do do me? Yeah. Right, seeing I'm at the point to die. Yeah. So uh, even when you go to wisdom of uh, uh, Solomon, the second chapter, he talks about how he wants to live and not deny himself of any lavish lifestyle of any delicacy. Right. He don't want to deny himself for that. So that's the spirit that he's pushing in the earth. Right. The, the 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 spirit that Yahweh Shimon Shah pushes in righteousness is self denial. Esau Edom pushes the opposite, yeah. self pleasure, self uh, gratif uh, instant gratification. You know, fulfill your heart's desire, live deliciously as much as you can. Right. And that's the way it's going to lead to death. Let me finish the proverbs, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to turn it over. <laughs> right. Yeah. Verse. Uh, Verse 14 and 15, it says, The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, 
and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. Simple believe every word, but the prudent man looking well to his own. That's, that's, that's the mindset you should be in, man, is being prudent, man. I'm impressed. Okay. Y'all take a picture. All right, now. Y'all take a picture. Nah, we ain't taking pictures. You got it, brother. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, hey, simple. Simple mind of Jake's, man, you know, which we got to get the kingdom, man. Jake, yeah, Jake, yeah. Jake, Jake out of here, man. Yeah, blame. You know, <laughs> we, 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 you know, a lot of our people have, you know, Falling into that trap, man. That spirit of murder. That spirit of murder. Just, just, you know, no purpose. No purpose whatsoever in their, you know, in their journeys on, on this earth until the Lord takes takes their spirit away, man. You know? And that's what's that's what's about to happen, man. And the days and times coming, prophecy speaking that. Hey, hey, a lot of you Jakes, man, and you you you're not serving any purpose whatsoever on the earth. You niggas are just here, man. Just hamsters on the fucking wheel every day, doing the same bullshit. Wake ups, uh, what do you call it? Wake and bake. Yeah, wake and bake. Yeah, Jake, wake and bake, man. You, you know, you go eat a pork chop for uh, uh, for lunch. For lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, y'all get where I'm going. The average, the, the average, the average Jake, like you say, <coughs> his breakfast time is noon time. He go slide to the Waffle House, go get that all star breakfast, Come pork on, man. chop. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? But he gonna smoke him. A, he gonna he gonna smoke him a couple of uh, grams of weed before he do that. You know, they say wake and bake. Yep. That stoner lifestyle. That's a heavy spirit on niggas in the earth. Being stoned. Well, the Lord gonna show you what it mean to be stoned. Come on, bro. Right. Yeah. Yep. You, you, <laughs> you got it, bro. This is Saint Matthew 11 and 28. I'm gonna read down to verse 30. It says, "Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest." Yeah, he gonna give you rest from the burdens of Babylon, uh -huh. right? Because ultimately we have to serve here physically. See, the Lord wants us to be here physically, but not spiritually. Right. When he say, arise in the point, but this is not your rest, it means detach your spirit from this place because everything on the planet, right, is attached to a certain spirit. The spirit of Babylon goes to really Baal, right? Right. So our Lord say he reserved unto himself 7,000 men, which is a complete number, a complete number. Bound to the image, meaning the order of my all, right? Which it all ties into confusion, yep. you know. And Esau, he won't, he thrives off of your confusion. He capitalizes off of your ignorance and your confusion. Right. Which, well, you got it. Are right? you gonna make a point out? No, I was just saying, which is a, a, a reason why you have so many jakes that don't know their purpose, don't don't know what the hell is going on, because Esau has confused them. Yep. You know. Gentlemen. They, they have no clue. How you doing, sir? They have no clue. They have no clue of who they are. They have no clue of what's going on in the earth, what's happening, okay? Like, they, they don't know that uh, 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 the things that they see that, that are going on with Russia and, and Ukraine and over at uh, Israel, I, hey, that, that's coming to America, man. Yep. That is coming right here to your, to your nearest uh, uh, North Memphis street, man. Yep. All right, hey, hey, bad times are coming, and Jake ain't prepared. Jake not, you know, uh, 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 doing anything. Not coming back to to build their spirits up first and foremost, repenting. Okay, so the Lord will be, you know, have mercy and show mercy upon you. Yep. This is the same map, he's eleven and twenty-eight. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your soul. Yeah, the Lord said, uh, he's, he's, he's meek and lowly of heart. And that's who his heart is towards, the, the, the meek and lowly of heart. Right? Can you read that last part again? It was the point before the meek and lowly of heart. Take my yoke upon you <coughs> and learn of me. Yeah, learn of me. Learn of me, right? Yeah. You have to learn of your Hawabashi and Hawashai's uh, magnificence, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the word of the day that the brother put in the chat was magnify. Mm -hmm. But you can't magnify the Lord if you don't know of, of his majesty and his magnificence. So in the learning of him, you will see that 
his judgment has been set up on the planet Earth for you to make a choice between life and death. And without him, there's no way for you to understand life and your purpose of living. There's no way to understand what your true purpose here on this planet Earth is unless you learn of the Heavenly Father's righteousness. Go ahead, bro. It says, and it reads, St. Matthew 11, 29, it says, For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Yeah, this is an easy thing, right? This is an easy thing. Like the Lord is not really asking you. It, it really takes more for you to stay attached to Babylon. Right. You know, but at the end of the day, that's how you know it's all of the Heavenly Father. Because he really had to give you the mindset to do it. Yeah. Because you really think about all the trouble you go through and any type of lifestyle you're trying to maintain in Babylon. You know, you wanna you wanna be that you wanna be that player that 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 that, that uh the cool guy, you wanna be the known, you want popularity. Think about the sacrifice that Esau Edom make make you go yeah. through to be a fucking all-star, a superstar, have status, celeb status in this world. Yep. You gotta sacrifice all your uh, yep. your morals and all your, your standards. Yeah, yep. when you look and at the um, when you look at the things to become what a CEO, they say you gotta work sixty hours a week. Come you on, know? Dang. You got you gotta work uh, your full time job and then you gotta work your side hustle. You know, to, 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 to make the American dream come true. Yeah. So it's all, you know, when you really weigh things in the balance of what you, you know, receive when you come and humble yourself and deny yourself and actually make a sacrifice to do that which is right in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai, and you surrender your mind over to the wisdom knowledge of the Lord, you see how good it is for you. Yep. You actually have pleasure in righteousness. Right. You have pleasure when you do that which is right. Mm -hmm. You know, you no longer take pleasure in wickedness anymore. Right. It's not a uh, sweet. You yep. know, that's why scripture say when wisdom is sweet, you know, and pleasurable to the soul, you know, it, uh, it, it, it comes with a great reward. A great reward follows. Right. Over here. That was it, man. Go ahead, huh? This Baruch chapter 4, verse 27. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High. For you should be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray. And if I may add, you know, it said, be of good comfort, O my children. You know, we're out here to comfort. Comfort ye my people. You know, speak comfortably unto Jerusalem. Your warfare is accomplished. You know, here it is. We're at the end of our captivity. Uh -huh. And the Lord is what raising up men after three days and a half, the spirit of life would enter into them. And great fear would fall upon the rulers of this world. So if the rulers of this world, with all their might and their majesty that they have, are in fear what we're doing, should you not be comforted? Because the Lord is uh, stretching out his mighty hand onto you. He's uh, uh, giving you this uh, uh, this period of grace and, and, and period of mercy for you to, uh, uh, to actually get right. Should that not come for you that salvation is coming on to those that repent? Yeah, because soon y'all going to start to see how powerful the word that we speak is. Right. Soon you're going to know, like the scriptures say, that a prophet has been among you because the things that we're speaking is going to bring forth persecution. Right. right. When they start coming out here and snatching us up, like you say, uh, uh, fear, fear not none of these things, but thou, the, but thou shalt suffer, for the devil shall throw some cast some of you into prison. And see, when when, when shit really hits the fan, SHTF, right? Yep. When SHTF comes, they're going to blame us. They're going to say, well, these, these prophets, so-called prophets, all they're doing is speaking of doom. And everything that they've been saying is just the same thing that happened to the prophets of old. Right. You know, even even with uh, even with uh, uh Elisha and, and, and Elijah. Yeah. You know, yeah. they was trying to come snatch them up because right. it's like, man, look, they the ones that's uh causing this. Causing this. Right. Yeah. yeah. And because because it was right. one it was one instance where Elisha kept giving away the location of the uh <laughs> of the uh army. Yeah. 
that was uh, going up against Israel. And they thought there was a traitor. They thought it was a traitor amongst them. He said, no, there is a man of the Most High <laughs> that telleth what you uh, say in your bedchambers. Yeah, that's telling what you're saying in your bedchambers. And does not the scripture say uh, how the things that Esau uh, searched out, out yeah. how his hidden things sought up? Yeah. It was the scripture to tell you that the spirit of the Almighty Right? It tells you that the spirit of the Lord will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets to his servants the prophets. So as we are exposing the plans of the elites and the judgments that the Heavenly Father is using them to bring upon the planet Earth, they're going to blame us. They're going to come after us like you you fucking up the, the plan. You fucking up our enterprise. Yeah. That's why the scripture there really talks about every hand of the wicked which goes into the laborer shall be against him, and he shall be in straits from that time. The true laborers are the laborers, the prophets. Right. We're the true laborers because this is the work that the Heavenly Father's business uh, yeah. requires. Nah, yeah. Yeah. This is the standing on business. This right. is the no, business. Yeah. Yeah. Standing on, nah, this is the real business. Close. This is the real business <laughs> about our Father's business. Yep. Man. And Yahweh Shah was the perfect example of that. Man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got it, bro. And soon these people, all you non believers, you're going to see. Yeah. Right. You're going to see, man. And guess what? When uh, a lot of you, when your eyes are open, all of these places and these uh, places of concourse that the prophets come to to preach the word and, and wisdom is crying out unto y'all. And like it says, scripture say, I, we have piped unto you, but you have not danced. Man. Guess what? When the song starts to fade out, yeah, you're gonna see. You're gonna, you're gonna see. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be certain. Like, oh, that's the man. I wish I hollered at that woman. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Why well, wait till the song? The music right. not playing no more. Yep. Oh yeah, like 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 how Jake be in the club. Yeah. He yeah. went all day. Damn, I missed Damn, her. Damn, man, I missed her. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, the last know, you song. Know everything she had on, yep. everything you didn't make it. Should have hollered at that woman. You had your chance. Now the music going out. <laughs> Club clothes. Because this, this, we're basically <laughs> sounding that alone out to the people to, to, to come back. Yep. You know, that's that's our purpose. That's that's the job that the Lord gave us, man, as as, as, as his men, servants. You got it, bro. Bring it up. This Baruch 4 and 28, but as it was your mind to go astray from your how about Shema was shy, so be in return, seek him 10 times more. Yep. And the Lord has to give you that spirit, man, to seek him. Okay, you know, it tells you in Isaiah, hey, seek the Lord while he may be found. Now is that time, man. You have you have the uh, liberty, the freedom, the, the the ability to do it right now. But hey, Jake, man, is is in that uh uh, uh what, what's the word? The uh, procrastinating spirit. Yep. Right? Okay. Right. And Jake wait to the last minute before they want to you know get involved and get and, and, and want things to uh, uh you know. Be right for him. Yep. But hey, no, now's the time, man. Now's the time to understand, hey, you, you need to uh, uh, repent, man. Mm -hmm. Repent of your evil ways and return it to the Lord. You know? Yeah. Serve, find your purpose. Serve your purpose, man. You know? <laughs> yeah, precept. Yeah. Got it, bro. Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Yep. For there is no work nor device nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. So when you go, you can do this thing Uh, you know, if I may, uh, cause you just slamming back, you know, on the uh, priest of the brother just brought out, you know, seeking the Lord 10 times more, you know, doing things with all of your might. You know, you did it when you, you know, understanding the, 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 the condition that you're in, how hard you're doing, how hard you're going to make sure you, you get high every day. How hard right. you're going to make sure you secure the bag. <laughs> you gotta yep. shift your mindset right. and your purpose to go hard for your salvation, to go hard uh, for your how by Shema shot. And you gotta have a why, why? Because we are the sons of God. And uh, that is our requirement to uphold righteousness down here upon there. That is your why. Well, why are we doing this? Because the Lord requires of us, the, 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 the creator of the heavens and earth requires you as an Israelite, a son of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and, and their descendants to uphold a standard of righteousness in the earth. It is your birthright to do this. Hey, get some rock 43 and 30 for a while. I'm going to read this one more time. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. 
whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. Right, because that's where you're going. Anything that you're doing, if you're not serving your heart, Bashi, Yahweh right? If your work is not uh, uh, to serve your heart, Bashi, Yahweh if your sole purpose is not doing the work of the Heavenly Father, right? <coughs> Feeding the sheep of, of Asherah, of Israel, then your, your labor is in vain. Yep. Right? Yeah. And if you're not doing it with all your strength, the Most High doesn't have any honor unto you. Yeah. You know, they say, uh, put forth all your might. Yeah. Right? Go ahead, uh, Parah. For you can never go far enough. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, Parah. This Sirach chapter 43, verse 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. Go ahead. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. Yeah. And that's why we can't boast in any of the sacrifices that we're making. Because like the scriptures say, this is our reason for service. So when it's all said and done, you're never going to be able to make a sacrifice more than what the Heavenly Father made. I mean, he gave his only begotten son. And even with Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah gave up the throne. Like he came down off of the throne to sacrifice his life so that we can be joint heirs with him and have rulership with him. He didn't have to do that. All right. You know, you got to understand, like, he had a power that we don't even know that he had to sacrifice. Like, man can't even comprehend the, the power and the the, 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 the the majesty that he had to sacrifice. He left the heavens. He left the, he he left the heavens for us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he left the heavens. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead, bro. Back in Sirach 43 and 30, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Yeah. So, really, and, and honesty, like, <laughs> that, that thing of, man, too tired, yeah. man. Like, you really got to defeat that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really got to defeat that, man. I'm uh, uh, feeling entitled that you're doing so much. Yeah. I got to do this. I got to, you know. That's got me on the right, man. I got to go pick up. Uh, it's because the scripture talking about we have entered into undeserved privileges. Right. Right, so we're in a privileged position, so you can't be that spoiled individual. Right. You know, your mind can't be spoiled to act like you think you deserve to be here. Yeah. You know, uh, can you read the scripture one more time, Mom? I got you, brother. This Sirach 43 and 30, when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, but even yet would he far exceed. His glory far, it's like brother's going to, you know, it's to exalt him as much as ye can. So this world, when you watch an inspirational video or a motivational video, it's all about exalting your life here in Babylon the Great. Right. It's all about pushing past the pain and taking the extra rep in the gym so you can right. get this good body, so you can get the best woman, yeah. so you can be in the best shape of your life to perform the jobs you need to be able to perform at a CEO level, right? It's all... Uh, it's all a uh, uh, vain at the end of the day. We're exalting someone who is worthy to be praised. Scripts say that who, the ones who are highly esteemed among men is an abomination to the Lord. Come on, man. As know? a matter of fact, it's a scripture. It's in the Apocrypha. It says that uh, his labors are vain. It, it, uh, it, 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 it's wisdom of Solomon. It's wisdom of Solomon. Yep, yeah, that's it. Three and nine. Yeah, three. Uh, three and ten and eleven. It's three and nine. Yeah, go ahead. Get that. Got it. Yeah, I got get that. It. This wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. No, nope. yeah, we can start at 9. It's 10. This wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Right. Yeah. And that's what it's about at the end of the day. Right. Understanding what the truth of life really is. Yeah. You know, like where like uh Benny Siegel had a had a song called uh, What's Your Life Like? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's your life like? And when you, when you go into his lyrics, it's really spiritual. You say, what's your life like? Mine's is real. Every day signed and sealed. Yeah. And the, the reality yeah. of it is, is that's, that every man's good. life is signed and sealed. That's right. It's signed, in the, it's signed off on in the heavens by the Heavenly Father. Man. And it's sealed by his word. Like, yeah. you have to do 
what you were designed to do. Right. Right. When you watch the movie The Matrix, you know, uh, at the end of the movie, they were like, Esau was like, do you think they're really going to reject the world that I created for yeah, you? Yeah, the, the, uh, the, 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 the architect, the when he architect. went to the architect, yeah. yeah. He said, do you really think the people are going to reject the world that I created for them? Yeah. But really, the most high created the world, and everyone is, it's just billions of people upon the earth. Not only billions of people, billions of microorganisms that we can't even see. Mm -hmm. It's just animals. Everything has a purpose. So you can't really comprehend the most high. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And he's working all of that. So here it is. We have to just hope that we are found in the, that mercy seat. Yeah. Hey, the most beautiful thing that you just said, too, in this statement you made is profound because... The, the real truth is that we can't comprehend the Most High. His understanding is far above anything that we could ever comprehend. Right. The true part about it, like, is that he gives us the ability to have an inkling of understanding. Right. And that little inkling, that little token of understanding is what comforts us. Because uh -huh. that, that, that elevates us above all the others who he didn't give that ink. Like just a little small little inkling of understanding elevates us. That's why I was saying like the Lord, uh, when he when you when you put forth all your strength, Man. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna uh benefit from giving all your strength to the Lord because the little bit that he gives you is gonna have you in a state of uh at ease like yeah. you're gonna like the, the, the number one thing that gives us uh comfort is knowing what the heavenly father's judgment yeah. is but then another person could be seeking out the most high's judgment in vain because he think it's a level that is going to put him on above the most high's purpose you see what i'm saying yeah we uh Oh, I'm gonna ask that we we find comfort in knowing that we're connected to that source. That we're connected to that source. That that endless supply of energy. Yep, and understanding. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This wisdom of Solomon three and nine, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. That's what it's all about. Understanding what the truth of living is, what the true purpose of you being here is. And the true purpose is for you really to understand the magnitude of the Heavenly Father's power. Right. And that will keep you in order. Yeah. That will keep yeah. you in order. Knowing that you don't control anything. Knowing that you don't this control is, anything. Yeah, this is all, this is it. Like, brother Woo. just broke it down. This, this is a blessing. You yep. should never be proud as an Israelite, man. <laughs> you should always be humble. That's yep. me. Because the Lord, hey, he can, he can pull you out of this thing. And man. whatever situation you find yourself in, no matter how, you know, how hard it is or how detrimental it is, like you like the Lord can bring you very low. Yeah. Right? But that level of understanding, you still have confidence. Yeah. Like if the Lord had put us in a situation, right, where we're homeless, take everything from us. It's just gonna come down to that. To get to the kingdom of heaven, that's what it's gonna come down to. Yeah. Sorry. The knowledge of his will will keep us stable. Remember, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our time and strength of our salvation. So like it takes a level of uh, it takes a level of comprehension to be able to stay sane in a homeless state. Like I don't got nowhere to live. Like I'm gonna tell you an example. Like Friday, right? I pulled up on a homeless Jake. He was living under the uh, the Vidoc, right? He's living on the Vidoc. He had a tent. So I had, I was giving some food, like some yolk, granola yogurt, right? Because I go to these different places to deliver there, give me stuff. So. This lady gave it to me, but I don't eat it. So I said, man, well, all I'm going to do is, I was trying to see how I could please the Lord with this instead of just uh, throwing it away. Yeah. I said, well, man, if you're homeless, people, maybe I'll find somebody. I mean, yeah. Mind you, I went right down the street, found a homeless person. But when I went to him, I said, hey, bro, you all, uh, you, you, you need, you know, you need something to eat, you want something to eat? He said, man, nah, I'm good. I got food stamps, all that. I'm straight, you know. Yeah, I, I got food, food stamps, and all that. Yeah. And he, and the thing about this homeless man, I'm gonna tell you, it was that was kind of that was it came off kind of proud to me. Yeah. But then I saw the spiritual spiritual aspect of it too, because he was neat. He was folding up. He was folding up. Here it is. He's living in the street. Yeah. You ever notice like sometimes you see homeless people that they're neat, that they're they like they you can tell they're homeless, but it's like. They're, they're, they're clean cut looking. 
it's like they still finding a way to maneuver and maintain in their condition. Right. That's how he was. Cause when I looked up, like man, he damn near looked like he might have a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, if I'm not mistaken, now they requiring you to have some sort of job in order to get like you gotta be at least part time to get yeah, food stamps. Food stamps. Yeah. yeah. So. Probably did. But I'm just making the point that the Lord will keep you with, with understanding the will of the Heavenly Father yeah. and understanding what the truth is. No matter what your living condition is, you're right. gonna remain stable. Just yeah. through knowing the truth. Uh, uh, it starts mentally, it starts being mentally. able to be mentally yeah. stable and strong. That what you just yeah. said made me think of uh what was that movie with Pursuit Will of Smith Happiness? Played, uh, Pursuit, Pursuit, Pursuit of Happiness. Happiness. Yeah. yeah. He Pursuit. never lost his 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 wits, he, man. Yeah, he never even though yeah. the condition he was in was fucked up. He had his son with him. He was, that was all everything was collapsing, man. That's, that's a good movie. He man. had a purpose. He, he had a purpose. He knew he had a purpose. Bro. Yep. He, he he knew, and he, it was just about finishing the task. That's why at the end, when it finally happened, he, he you know he had to drop that chair. He yeah. was just like shit. He didn't know whether to jump yep. or what. Okay. He's just like man, you got yep. it, bro. It, and it's basically like a Babylonian. It's basically like a Babylonian analogy to the kingdom. How really how we're going to get to the kingdom of heaven? Because God. you know he 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 found that worldly success. Right, right, right. But that's really how it's for us getting to the kingdom of heaven, kingdom. you know? Hey, incorruptible crown. Yeah, the incorruptible, right. he got that corruptible crown. Right. You got it, bro. This wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And I want to get into that word trust. A trust is a firm belief. <coughs> we have a, a, a firm, a solid foundation in the belief of Yahweh by Shai <coughs> through Yahweh Shai. That's it. You know, it was, it's all through the Lord, right. and you know, uh, you were going to a point how every, every the, it's all the, you know, for us to understand His power, you know, and that's why the scripture say every knee shall bow, every tongue is going to confess yeah. that Yahweh Shai is the Lord, and you can either, uh, you either, you've either been granted the gift of faith to see and understand that Majesty. You know, uh, in in the sense of what we've been given, and see, and we, it's it's great. Yep. The small what we've been given is the most high that you're dealing with. So even a small thing, you see how powerful it truly is. Like what you were saying when we was coming here about how the Lord dresses the grass and the yeah, little like you see yeah. you see the power in there. You got that? Okay, come yeah. on, come on, come on. That's you know? spiritual. Back in wisdom of Solomon three and nine, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. So you got to be faithful. Yep. You got to be full of faith in order to abide with Yahweh by Shem Shai. Right? To really? abide means to remain. To remain. You got to keep the faith no matter what you're going through. Because the brother is saying when you start to lose things, which that's what the Lord wants us. He wants to be, to be fully all in. That's how he tests your faith. That's, that's how it's set up for your faith to be tested through you losing things. That's right. Cause when you're, when, when your life is on the line, you literally, that, that's all, you know, because your human instincts are survival. Yeah. Right. But you're willing to give all that up to be with the Lord. Cause he wants to, he wants to know what is it that you're going to hold on to in the end what yeah. What, yeah what do you value so when when you start to lose things like okay so you think you can't make it without this exactly well exactly. okay i'm gonna take this from you right let's right. see you think you can't make it without that okay i'm gonna take it from you let's see because in the end it's all about cleaving on to him right. that's the only thing we can't live without that's the reality that we have to come to terms with what is it truly that we can't live without that's the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Yep. Hey, yep. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say, if you lose the spirit, man, if the Lord take that spirit from you, well, physically he can take that spirit from you and take it and put you back in the spiritual world. But like, you know, brothers losing if you lose the knowledge, man. Yeah. It's a value system. Jake gotta have a, a value that but you got there's a price tag on everything. And you have to, your value system, you have to have a, a system of values. And you show forth what you truly value by what you put your time into. That's it. There you go. That's it. Go ahead, Op. This wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. You got that red 9, in it? Uh-uh, I ain't even finished that. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> go ahead, for, bro. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have cared for his elect. Yep, the saints are the Israelites. Yep. And we've been all been given 
the, uh, uh, the this is grace, but he hath care for the election. Those who are predestined to receive this word because they will be shining forth as lights in the world in these last days. Right. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations. Their own, according to their own imaginations. What they have imagined to be right and, and righteous, the things that they have chased after, that vision, that pursuit of happiness that they have in their mind, right. they're going to be judged according to that because their actions and things that they have done during this present life to achieve those things are not upright they're right. not pure and holy and separate in the eyes of the lord right it wasn't pleasing to the lord like it tells you in Peru. they did what was you know pleasing it to them and their own mind and eyes and and and, and, and sight yep. you know there's a way that seemeth right, right. right. Yep. It is a deal. Yep. which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the lord for whoso despise of wisdom and nurture he is miserable and their hope is vain. And that's that's the point. That's what I was getting into. He that despises it means to hate wisdom, right? The good way in nurture to be nurtured up in wisdom, to be brought up in wisdom into uh, this uh, journey of becoming a man of the Lord, a journey of becoming a believer of Yahweh, the journey of becoming born again and uh, really understanding who we are as the sons of God and what that actually means, right? That's that nurture, right? It's, it's, it's a becoming, it's, a, it's a, but like the apostle Elder Gabar was going into, you actually gotta, you gotta take pleasure in this journey as we are uh, on our, you know, path to the kingdom of heaven. And it says their labels are unfruitful and their works are unprofitable. That's right. Uh, their labors are unfruitful. And their works are unprofitable. You know? Just like when you go into uh, the dude Kevin Samuels, right? Right. And <laughs> think about all that labor that he was doing. You always see dude, he be, he be having some type of coffee or caffeine. You know, he, he, be, drinking those, he be drinking those, uh, those cool. caffeinated yeah. drinks because he was trying to uh, labor his labor was in vain in order to achieve that lifestyle. And it, it really was all tied to that money, yeah. you know, which he used to say good things concerning right. how women are out of order and the mindset of women. But at the end of the day, he wasn't in order himself. Smooth right. face, not, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he had a Babylonian, he was worldly. Yeah. He was worldly, though he made some good points, you know, when it came to women. But at the end of the day, what happened? <laughs> the Lord took his life. So all that labor was in vain. And these women ain't gonna, these women are still, and, and, and the women laughed at them. Like they, they was like, yeah, yeah they, they, they were right. joyous. The women went out and party. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But guess what? The Lord is not gonna have the end of his men be, 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 be laughed at. Yeah. <laughs> they that laugh now shall yeah, mourn yeah. and weep. That's it. I just had a quick time. You know? Yeah. At this Proverbs 20 and 18, every purpose is established by counsel and with good uh, with good advice make war. And pretty much, you know, they're just begging up uh, the scripture where it say he that despise of wisdom and nurture. You know, here it is, the, the Lord uh, pretty much gave you prophets which should feed you understanding, you know, but you don't want to listen to uh, what you need to do, man. Here it is, war coming, uh, Jacob's trouble coming. And you need to be on point, man. But if you despise in wisdom, and hey, you ain't gonna know the purpose, you ain't yeah. gonna know the plan, man. Yeah, because the scriptures are, are foretelling the second coming of our Lord, and the scriptures say, uh, with righteousness, he does judge and make war. Right. And that's why scriptures say, uh, take heed unto counsel. Before before going to war, you're supposed to seek, you're supposed to come up with a war strategy. Right, yeah. You don't just go into a war blind. You don't right. go into a battle blindfold. Right, right. Yeah. You know, that's that parable we're talking ahead, about. Uh, you know, is he ready to go battle with 10,000 to against him that come with him with 20,000? Right. Or does before the, the, the king and the armies are far off, he makes conditions of peace? That's it. Are you ready to go to war with the king of kings and lord of lords? Yeah. Because you ain't really going to war with Esau or Edom. No, he's just a tool that the Heavenly Father is using. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A, a wise player in chess 
he utilizes the pieces on the other yeah. side of the board. You really, you really worn with the Lord, whether you, where you, where you on His side or you on the other side, because right. the word "with" means either together or against. You going to war with, and you could be going to war with against. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So you, yeah. you, because the scripture tells us that the Lord is a man of war. So he's created, he's created the battles, and he's set the stage for war. Whether you want to get involved or not, right. you can be that guy who say, "Well, I'm a, I don't know, I'm, I'm anti-war, right. I'm against war. Let's spread the love." You know those peace street, they, yeah. they, they, they got that coexist uh, energy, that yeah. symbol, and all they want to do is spread peace and love. Well, you can't do that because the Lord's already set the stage for war. Right. And you're either going to war for righteousness' sake, or you're going to war for wickedness. Yeah. No matter if you're not really necessarily just a straight up wicked person, because you gotta understand there's there's certain people on the on the planet earth they just for peace and they non-confrontational and you know they'll take the law like they're naturally humble but they still don't know the lord yep. no matter the battle is coming the battle is coming regardless is the yep. battle gonna come to your front door whether yep. you you know whether you, whether you, you ordered it or not, not. Whether yeah. you, you know what i'm saying whether you ordered it or not you still gonna get delivered war still gonna be delivered to your door mm -hmm. you got it, bro i got free up. this is a uh, matthew 6. In, um, you know, in 19, uh -huh. it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. Yeah, because it's a war on you whether you, whether you uh, know it or not, like right. whether you want it or not, like even with your money. You're trying to save your money up. You got your money in a bank account. Best believe you better be watching your bank account comes because somebody's trying to hack into your account, Fraud. trying to steal your riches, yeah. you know, somebody trying to come up with some sort of scheme to get you to spend some money with them, yeah. Yeah. you know. Uh, Jake was telling me today that they have, the, him, and his, him and his wife have a business, but they had a website with their recipes, but you had Edomites or other Jake or corporations that would come and steal the recipes right. and just rebrand it, right. you know, right. so you know everything like you said everything is a war yeah you know yeah it's it's, it's, it's scam likely here in babylon yeah, the yeah, that's right. scam, likely. Likely. scam likely this is a map you six and twenty but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven and how do you do that by laboring you right. to, to to get treasure on this side you have to labor for those things so the scriptures talk about hate not laborious work, nor right. husbandry which thou has with the most high has ordained. So you can't hate to do that which is good. You can't hate to suffer for righteousness' sake. Jake suffers for wickedness. Right. You know, so and at the end of the day, you're gonna have to stand on what you've been laboring in. Yeah, you gotta understand the bigger purpose. You gotta understand, hey, I'm doing this for a reason. It's, it, I'm, I'm, I'm going hard for this reason, you know, putting putting all your energy into into something because you know at the end of it, hey, it's a reward. Yeah, it's gonna be fruitful because we have we're abiding in the vine. That's our son. This is on Matthew six and twenty. It says, "Where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal." For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Hey, let's just check out this, uh, got this saying, uh, mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> right. Well, if, if your money, your real money is, is stored up in the heavens, yeah. then guess what? Your mind gonna always be on your money. Yeah. Right? Your, your value. Yeah, your value. What yeah. do you value? What, yeah. what holds more weight? Right. Yeah, <laughs> to live a little bit now, or to live forever later. That's right. You know, because the reason the reason why Jake stored riches today is to 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 have an inheritance for later. Right. You know, that's what the the whole process of obtaining uh, money and resources, stocks, you know, riches and wealth. What's the purpose of that, really? For later. For 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 living later. Yeah. Right. But the Lord say, uh, uh, that your so that your fruit shall remain. Brother can get that. Uh, bring, bring, uh, bring forth fruit. That's yeah, yeah. Bring forth fruit. Meet for repentance. 
Uh, but he said, uh, also you want to bring forth the fruit so that it, it will remain. You know, so the money here, the money here, the fruit that the fruit that Babylon has to offer you, it's not going to remain. If you already see the the whole system with uh revenue in Babylon is being transitioned to a digital system, which just makes it more accessible for the elites to take it away from you. That's what it's all about. Like he want to put you on a universal base income. He wants to give you a cap. Right? He wants to give, he wants to, he wants to dictate and determine how much money each and every person can have or they can't have. Right. That's the uh that's like the little bicycle you got the line hanging over down yeah. the fruit. Yeah, you're trying to get to it. And you're gonna never get to it. No matter how hard you no pedal. No matter how hard you pedal, man. That yep. is gonna be on the be on that end. You chasing you chasing nothing. Yep. Right. What you got, uh uh Rob something? Uh John 15 fruit remain. Yeah, go ahead. This John 15 and 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit <coughs> and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. That's it. Bring forth fruit so that your fruit shall remain. The Lord said he has ordained us, he's ordered us to do this, right? But, but we gotta understand what's the fruit that's going to remain. Right. It's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yep. Right. So whenever we speak this word, it's going to produce. It's going to. It's going to. It's going to bring more fruit to the Lord. And the Lord, that's that's really where the money comes in. When we speak this word, and another soul is converted to this truth, that's never. That's that's you never going to lose that. You know, you're never going to, that's, that's, that's money in your spiritual bank account that you're never going to lose. The angels rejoice. The angels rejoice. That's it. I got a precept. Was there any more than that? Up? No, that was it. This is uh, Philippians 3, and if I may read it in OT, uh, verse 14, it says, I press towards the mark. I'm sorry. I press on to reach the end of the race. And receive the heavenly prize, right. which Yahweh through Yahweh Shai is calling us. Right. You know, so he presses on. You know, he continues to move forward. You know, that's what's about continue to continue on the path. You know, continue to uh, labor and to endure. You know, and, and to work out your salvation. You know, with fear and trembling, right? Because that is your purpose. That's what we have been called to do, right. as we have this ministry, as we have this uh, uh, grace period, as we've been given the gift of faith. We see what our purpose is, yep. because Jake, in a nutshell, is fulfilling their purpose. The two thirds of our people. Ooh. That oh. is their purpose. That is their purpose. Hey, hey, that's, no, you, hey, you that's why with the false prophets, yeah, you may be upset, but that is their purpose. Yep. Right. Everybody has their lot. Man. You gotta fulfill it. Everybody has a lot. You gotta, you gotta fulfill your lot. Hey, it tells you, uh, it's, hey, Romans, who have resisted his will, hey. which that brings forth what more fear. Hey, hey, the angel said, I will go down and be a lion spirit yeah. in the mouth of the prophets. In the mouth of the prophets, I will go down. They, you know, we got angels just designed just to work on the minds of these, because these prophets don't don't know that they are false prophets. They think, they you know, think they, they, yeah. yeah, like they don't actually know it. Like they don't understand that they're false prophets, right. you know. They don't they, they they don't seek out to be false prophets necessarily they believe they're actually doing they, what's they, right they actually believe they're doing what's right you know um this is actually a precept i really the scriptures wanted. say the deceived and the deceiver are right here no you yeah. good bro i just want to make that cool. uh, this is uh philippians 3 and 8 i'm sorry 7 but the things were gained to me those i counted lost for yahweh shy yea doubtless and i count all things but Lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord. Right, oh, Apostle Paul. Because oh. yeah. you got to think, Apostle Paul had uh, a plethora of different accolades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. He, he, he was a, Apostle Paul was 
one of the, if not the most well-rounded of all the apostles. You know, he spoke different languages. He's a master of the law. Pharisee. Yeah, Pharisee. that's what a Pharisee is, a master of the, of the law, you know? So he was already studied before he even came across in Hawashan. And that's what really humbled him to get to this point of what he's saying now. Like, yeah. okay, I count it all dumb because wow. he understood like with all he knew and all of his great upbringing and studies and labors that he had dedicated his life to before he met Yahweh Shah, he was fucked up. Yeah, because you look at that word, uh, <laughs> Excellency, right. he's admitting that it's far greater. Yeah. It far exceeds what he was into. Yep. Yeah. It's more excellent. Yeah, the statue that he had before he came across Yahweh Shah, he said he count that shit that Right. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It says, for uh, and that's why you can't be dwelling, Salak. That's why you can't be dwelling on your past. You know what I'm saying? Because there's certain brothers that had uh, lifestyles. You know, uh, you had certain brothers that was in professional sports. That was uh, brothers that had uh, women. Uh, uh, women had uh, you no know, status. That's the word. You had brothers that had status, and they they laid that all to the side. Right, right. You know, to, 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 to be able to come out here and sacrifice right. for your how about you how You humble yourself because this this is a humbling thing. I remember my first time actually hitting the streets, you know, Jake be a little nervous, scared, you know, mm -hmm. feeling ashamed. Oh, man, I, don't, I don't know what people going to think. You know, that, that, none of that shit matters. That's now. why scripture say of uh, being thou confident in the things that thou hast learned. That's what, that's what shakes that nervousness. That's what shakes that, you know, how you come out here and you teach for the first time and that unsure of yourself feeling that, yeah. that doubt demon, what we call it. Yeah. Nobody's listening. Because nobody's listening or just because you really uh, haven't built up your spiritual, uh, what's the word, fortitude. That's the yeah, word. You haven't built up your spiritual fortitude because Remember, it said there's one, uh, there's one that is wise and teaches many, but he's unprofitable to himself. And it says it's better for he uh, understanding and fear the most high. So confidence comes within you. Whenever you uh, come into this truth, just be confident in the little bit of understanding that you have. Don't be so worried about, well, I don't know every single thing yet. Yeah. I don't know every single breakdown. Yeah. Well, don't go into the stuff that you don't yeah. understand. Yeah. Be confident in the things that you know and teach those things. Right. And before you can grow, you have to be confident in those things. You can't grow and learn more in this truth until you're confident in the, the knowledge that you've been already given. Right. Right. It says Philippians 3 and 8, and it reads, For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may win Yahweh Shai. Yep, we're going to get ready to wrap it up, folks. Yeah, yep. That we may win Yahweh Shai. Which ultimately, what is Yahweh Shai? He's the kingdom of heaven. Yep. He's where our crown is. He's the one that holds our crown. Man. <laughs> Our life is his when you have a shot. Our life is his when you have a shot. That when that he may appear, we may also live with seeing a uh, glory. Yep. Yep. Go ahead, Quran. This second address, 9 and 21. And I saw, I'm going to start at 20. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that would come into it. You got it, y'all. Yeah. Where did it want you? This second edge is 9 and 20. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that will come into it. And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of cluster and a plant of great people. Yeah, that's the elect, man. The Lord has kept those, those men, that, that 700, 7,000 that did not bow the knee to Baal, he's kept them, man, and preserved them, okay? And kept them what? On their purpose, man. Is it more? Yeah. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. Woo. And let my grape be kept in my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. Man, let the multitude perish. So the rest, man, that, that didn't, you know, uh, uh, get the understanding that's not of the elect, man. No purpose. Man, there's no purpose for them. It's just, hey, 
useless eaters, so to speak. But hey, uh, that 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 election, man, that that's that's all the Lord cares about, man. That's, that's right. what it's about. The elect of Israel. Right. Hey, is that it? Yeah, hey, yeah. so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying for the elect. Once again, we're gonna give up. We're gonna turn towards the east. Give our praise, on and glory to Yahweh. All right. Uh, give double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS. Salutations and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.